Well, CPI data out this morning showing inflation slowing in the month of March. Let's get a check in on how the D.C. is reacting with the news today with Heather Boucher, who is the member of the White House Council of Economic Advisors. Heather, great to have you here with us. First, when we think about the administration and, and the reaction that you're hearing inside the walls of the White House, how are you discussing this? What has been the, the tone around this report? Well, certainly we think that this is good news um, to the extent that the headline inflation fell. Um, uh, it's now at 5%. That's down from 9.1% last summer. This is the ninth month of consistent slowdown in the pace of inflation. Um, so that 5% rate is a slowdown from months before. So that certainly is an indication that things are moving in the right direction. Of course, the president knows and understands that prices remain too high for too many things. but. Um, but we are interpreting this as movement in the right direction, especially when combined with last Friday's labor market data that continues to show strong, steady, stable growth in the job market, but at a slower pace. So it feels like we're hitting a more sustainable pace there as well. Um, even as we hit a more sustainable pace, perhaps, um, we're still seeing these big year-over-year -year gains in inflation at the same time that we are seeing wage growth moderating. Um, on the Economic Council, how are you thinking about the issue of affordability for most Americans and how you might be able to, to address it? Well, you know, when we look at today's report, a few things popped out. Um, you know, grocery prices fell. We saw gas, retail gas prices fell, so gas prices at the pump. We saw energy prices fall generally. So those certainly are providing that help to working families across the country. Certainly important uh, ways that uh, giving those families a little bit of breathing room. But that's on top of many other things that the president is focused on to lower the costs facing families. So the, um, the push to lower the price of insulin to $35 a month that has been you know, followed up by actions within the private sector to, to match that, you know, the, the move to make prescription drugs more affordable, and of course the ongoing work to make energy prices more affordable across the economy. So you know, the president has been focused on uh, keeping prices down. And you know, I think you see some good news in today's report. And then within, of course, the entirety of the economic situation, we also have to figure out exactly where, as prices begin to abate or at least perhaps normalize, whatever normal looks like in this new normal scenario, you know, what that means for companies and the employment situation as well, because some of the price passed through to consumers has been on the back of um, the wages and, and higher wages that companies are trying to put forth in a more competitive landscape as well. Well, that's why one of the good things that we saw that, that we have been seeing in the labor force reports has been an increase in people entering the, the economy, entering that labor force. That's what we want to see to help create that labor supply across the country. Um, so certainly there is some good news there. You know, what we haven't seen is the kind of wage price spiral that I think many people were concerned about because of the challenges of so many people coming back into the labor market after the pandemic. So, you know, I think that there is... Let me just pause and note that it has been really challenging to recover from this pandemic economy. And I think you see that in today's report. We're looking for job gains that aren't at that blockbuster pace that they were and when we needed to pull out of the depths of the pandemic recession, but they're strong and stable. Of course, we saw all the challenges, supply chains and the unprovoked war in the Ukraine that upended energy prices. We've started to see those signs of abatement. Supply chains are back up and running uh, much more smoothly. We're seeing you know prices come down in terms of energy. So this has been a challenging economy. I think reports like today's show how resilient this economy has been and, quite frankly, how effective the president's policies have been at protecting workers and families from some of these challenges. So, Heather, given that, how are you thinking about recession probability at this point? Is it something you're discounting or where, where would you put the odds? Well, you know, the, the challenge with um, predicting a recession is that you never quite know exactly when it's going to happen. When you look at the data in the labor market, we are certainly not there. Um, we are creating jobs to the tune of a, a, over, over 340,000 per month over the past three months, so that on average. So that certainly is not recession levels. You know, we're seeing some uptick in unemployment insurance claims, but certainly not at the kinds of levels that we typically see during a recession. We are seeing high prices, but the, you know, as we're noting today, the headline price, you know, 
did drop by a percentage point um, relative to last month, a year over year, so that is moving in the right direction. You know, honestly, one of the biggest things that I'm concerned about looking forward is whether or not Congress will do its part and raise the debt ceiling limit. You know, this certainly could cause chaos across the economy. It could upend this, you know, this, this, the, the strength of this recovery. Um, so that's as I'm looking uh, forward and, and, and wondering about a recession, what I want to know is whether or not we will see Congress vote, as they have so many times before, for a clean debt limit, uh, so that we, because I think that would reduce that probability considerably. Yeah, definitely, and it's something the markets are watching very closely as well. Heather, thanks for your time this morning. I know it must be a busy one. Heather Boucher, White House Council of Economic Advisors member. Thank you.